Right, folks, welcome back. We're about to play Napoli again in our second leg in the Champions League. We've got a one goal advantage and we scored that away. So, we've got Napoli are going to have to score twice, basically, to win. So, well, yeah, well, one and it's going to take it to extra time, in, in other words. But anyway couple of results off camera. Last time out you watched us with the other Napoli game, Bilbao and Girona. Uh, managed to get a victory over Bilbao, 3-0, very impressive there. 1-1 one, one against Girona, wasn't too good, so there we've seen that. But then we went away, uh, well, we actually played at home, we managed to beat Real Madrid 2-1. Unfortunately that was not enough to get us into the uh, finals of the Spanish Cup. It is going to be Real San Sebastian versus Real Madrid. They did beat us at 5-3 on aggregate. Um, but a victory over Real Madrid nonetheless, and then followed it up with a 3-0 victory over Tenerife. So, did reach the points target the board set me, and I'm keeping my job for now. Only got a contract for another few months though. We'll have to see what happens after that. Not sure I really want to stay. It hasn't really worked out for me in Spain. Maybe we'll just cut our losses and we'll go somewhere else. Maybe we'll go Germany, England, Italy, back to France. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. We are about to pick our team for this game. Hendrix is unfortunately injured, so he will not be playing. He's not in the squad for Champions League, so we're going to pick our right back, and it is going to have to be Nico LBD. We have no one else that can do it. That is fine. Fredinho and Gazelle will still play up top. Uh, I've played this. I played this in the last game. It's a bit of a weird formation with uh, Yurik on um, the wing here. Not sure why, but it seems to work. Um, so I'm going to keep him on there. <laughs> Play him on the right, and um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep that going. We will bring uh, Brickello on to the bench, and not s I will play Sar actually, even though Tahini is in good form. Tahini can go to the bench. Who do I need? Teddy Andre is somewhat back to full fitness. I need Vazquez. There we go. And how is the team looking? Tobias Press is not looking great, so we will put Teddy Bond in. Everyone else, though, LVD is only 81%. Oof. Okay, well, I don't know if I have another right back I could put on. Press is going to have to be the only one that I can do it, but that's fine. We can always put Tobias Press as right back. Anyway, focusing play down the right, hopefully... Yusik can uh, grab some goals, so yeah, he is our top scorer this, no he's not, Gazelle has actually taken over, but he is one of the top scorers, so chuck him off, see what we can do. We tell the boys we've got faith, we know what they can do, we, they can make the difference for us, so kick off, let's go, come on Valencia, let's see the first highlight of the game, it's a highlight for us. Elvidi's going to whip in a cross, but it is, uh, well, not a cross, you throw in, and it was uh, almost a goal down for us, so um, not the best start. Come on, Napoli. No, not Napoli. Don't tell Napoli. Come on, not Gazelle. Why does he have to be injured? What type of knock is it? It's a tight hamstring, but he should be able to play through it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to keep him on, because he's literally our best player. But Alvidi throws in again. He's going to whip in the cross. It misses everyone. Jose Guy now. Gazelle still scores. Or Gizel. I don't know what to call him. Gazelle sounds like... Isn't a Gazelle like a... It's offside. God, no. A Gazelle is like Bambi, isn't it? Like a deer? Like a baby deer? <laughs> Maybe I'll just call him Gizel. Gizel. Gizil, right, and Yursik, Yursik, Yurik, I don't know. I'm shocking with pronounced opinions. 
pronouncing opinions. Pronounce I can't even speak today. Farini's saves, come on. Let's demand more from the blokes, but we are holding on. Oh no, Farini's just gets robbed, but thankfully Enrique's there to scramble it away. Come on, Valencia. Performance is disappointing. Tell the guys, got faith. We know we can do it. What we can do? We'll up the tempo slightly. See what happens. Come on, boys. I've got you. Have a bit of faith. I've got faith in you. Do you have faith in me? Uh, Napoli have a corner now. Ooh, oh, 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 they're having shots, but they've been blocked. They are popping off here. They want to win. Romario Barrow, no clever. Oh, 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 fantastic from Farinis. Musa heads it away. Right, 61 minutes. I've paused it. We'll click play and we'll confirm these changes. We've got three new players. Alvidi is off for Tobias Press. Dolberg is coming on for Giziel. And Brickelow is coming on on the other side. I forgot to change it. We don't want to focus play down the right. We want to focus play down. We're going to play shorter. We're going to up the tempo again. We want to focus it down the left now because Brickelow has come on. So let's see. Can we make something happen? I will take a nil-nil draw. A nil-nil draw is fine. We still qualify for... The next round. Quarters, I believe it should be, because it's only 16, but Napoli have been on fire in this game. They have got 14 shots from five, five only on target, five off target as well. And we've only had nine and three on target, but it's cutting close. They're cutting it close. Come on, boys. What can we do? Nap Napoli now. Good defense. Enrique's picked it up. It's running out of time. We're running out of time. It's going to be a nil-nil. Oh, no. It's Martin Odegaard with the cross now. No. 92nd minute. Oh, it's going to go to extra time. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. Oh, thank God. He's offside. They will be gutted. Oh, we've been extremely lucky in this game. Two goals. Oh, he's just offside. Oh, I'm so... So, so happy. What a boring game. Boring as game. Well done, lads. That was a good win. Wow. We didn't win, but you know what they mean. Nil nil. We are through to the next round. Get in. Reaching it. Yes, we triumphed. First league goal. 1-0. Giziel is injured for one to three days. Great. The border, please. We've got 16.45 uh, mil. We're quarter-final. 29 mil still uh, in debt. But <laughs> Fredinho. Need to start scoring here, bud. Scored three for us. He scored eight last season. But, uh, yeah. Let's get to the uh, next game. Right, going to play more or less the same team as last time. The only change being um, Yurik is off the bench. Oh, he's off the right-hand side, sorry, and I've just moved it back to the centre. Didn't really work the last game. Um, yeah, I feel like this is probably more of a natural formation, better for the players to be playing anyway. I'm going to bring Diawara in as well. So it's going to be a uh, back four of Gaia, Sa, Enrique, Alvidi, Farini's in goal, Bond, Diawara, Musa, Tabanui, Gazelle, and Fredinia up top. Casper Dolberg, Brickelow, Moro, Press, Tahini, Vazquez, and Andre on the bench. Fredinio needs to score. He needs to break his drought. I think Romero should be coming back from his injury soon. We'll have to wait and see. Same with uh, Kevin Volland is also out. As we do, we normally tell the boys we've got faith in them. Not the most exciting game in the world against uh, Pamplona, but that's no offence to any Pamplona fans that may be watching. 
hopefully I am saying your name right. 12th place, respectable, 37 points, not too bad, only 10 behind us, or 11 behind us, should I say, so a bit, bit more points. Oh, what, was that not a goal? Oh, okay. I swear he just put it in the back of the net, but didn't even tell me whether he was offside or not. Interesting. Tabanui, no. Dmitry Vyski? Dmitry Vyski? I uh, don't know. Great save from him anyway. We shall see what happens. A win here would put us into fifth place. So that would be excellent if we can do that. Ted Bond does the business. Get in, son. Third goal of the season from him. What a signing he's been. Just in midfield alone. He just bosses it. Ted Bond. Lovely stuff. What a name as well. Absolute legend. That doesn't put us into fifth. No, we're still one point behind. I can't do maths. Okay. But we're winning. That is the main thing. We should try and encourage the team. And I'll just tell them that I've still got faith. I'm obviously... Uh, do the same thing every time, as always, but it works, so why beat a winning formula? As it's going to be next to impossible, I do, in fact, I don't even think it is impossible to get a third place finish this season. It's another goal for Valencia. Is that Fredinho? It is! Oh, he's offside. <laughs> I wanted him to get off the mark. Oh, we'll skip that. Oh, come on. Yeah, so Real Madrid are on 68 points, 4th place, 52. So, there's not that many games left. There's, what, maybe 10 games left? Still a lot of points to be won, but is it likely that Real Madrid is going to drop points to allow anyone else to catch up? I don't think so. Um, but then again, we have beaten them twice this season, so... You never know your luck. And we might get them in the Champions League draw, which will be after this game. Fredinho, come on, mate. Whew, okay, we'll make some we'll make some changes. Fredinho's off. Dolberg is on. What can Dolberg do? Hasn't been as prolific as he was at Nice. Not that he was hugely pro prolific in the first place, but he did score on a bit more of a regular basis. Maybe it was the injury that kept him out for most of the season uh, last year. Maybe he's still trying to find his footing after that. That's kind of hampered his ability just a little bit. But we haven't hampered the ability of Giziel. 11th goal of the season. This guy's played a lot of football this year because the Brazilian season... The Brazilian, yeah, Brazilian season, I guess is the correct wording, was already underway or had just finished, so he'd already played a full season in Brazil. Now he's come here, smashing in 10, 11 goals, so can't complain too much. Um, they've got a highlight, but I'm quickly going to just pause it because Gaia is injured, and I'm going to bring on Tobias Press as well for Ted Bond there. Alvides managed to get it back. Was going to whip it across, but it has been tackled, and Henrique is back to Farinis. I don't know if we can make something in these last few minutes. Uh, Gaia, even though he's injured, gives it up to Gizio, who makes it three. Scores his 12th goal of the season. Just going to say, Gizio, I think that money is worth it. He might have had a slow start. Might have only got gotten started in the uh, later, later ends of last year. But he is on fire right now. You cannot stop him from scoring, as he could even get another one here. If he could get another one, that would be his first hat-trick, I believe. For, uh... No, it looks like... Oh, Casper Dolberg could have made it four. That would have been nice. Hasn't scored a goal in the league this season, Casper Dolberg, I don't believe. He's only scored one or two. So he's not doing too well either. Um, we'll just leave it at that. Good win, boys. Good win. Righty. Yes, we are into the uh, Euro League, Europa League, um, if we can stay there. Sixth, not too bad, I mean, where were we supposed to be finishing? 
they were predicting fourth. Now, fourth is still a possibility. Who did they predict to win? They predicted Real Madrid to win. They still could. Real Madrid, Barca, Atletico. Yeah. Just the cash standard, uh, standard predictions, really. But, uh, yeah, hopefully Barcelona can keep it up. They can run away with the title. Would rather have Barcelona win it than Real Madrid. Maybe Atletico Madrid can have a wee chase with Barcelona. Maybe Real Madrid can slip up a bit more. That would be nice. Hmm. They did draw with us. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, let's come back when we have the draw for the uh, next stage of the Champions League. Right. So this is the quarter final of the Champions League. Champions Cup draw. Let's see who we get. They're also doing the semi-finals at the same time. I don't know why. It's weird. Who is left in the team in here? For Arsenal, Chelsea, Inter, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Auto, Liverpool, and us, Valencia. Now, all the teams are going to be tough. I want Porto. No offence to Porto. I think they're probably the weakest um, on paper, at least. Uh, but it's going to be Barcelona versus Inter. Okay. What have we got? Valencia. Real Madrid. The mm, I hate that's us gone. I hate Real Madrid. Every time. Why are we an all Spanish affair? Oh, no. Porto get Arsenal. Liverpool get Chelsea. An all English affair there as well. Oh. <laughs> I don't want Real Madrid. Alright, well, let's see if it's... If whoever we win, we get Porto or Arsenal in the next round and Barcelona into or Liverpool or Chelsea in the uh, other semi-finals. Great. So, that's uh, not going to be a fun match for us at all. We are... Uh, Definitely haven't played them enough this season already. Let's count them. Come on. Right, we'll go up here. Right, where are Madrid? Once this season. There we go. That's one game. Two games. Three games. Four games. Five games. Six. Seven games this season. We will have faced Real Madrid seven times. That is ridiculous. We can't be beating them so many times. Um, anyway, <laughs> look at those games. Real Madrid at Barcelona. Real Madrid. Oh, mate. Oh, we are going to be destroyed. I have no faith. <laughs> three losses from three games there. Or we'll get demolished, we'll lose, and then we'll win, but it won't be enough. It'll be like just a goal away, you know? Ah, oh, shit. That is going to be fun. And anyway, I will bring you back for those three games, I guess. Two go, yeah. We'll go Real Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid. We will, uh,. We'll have to wait and see how we go. And then uh, after that, it's pretty much the end of the season. Will we be staying? Will we won't? Will we won't? Will we be staying? Will we be going? The contract is up very soon. We've got two months. When does my contract as well? Exactly. Like, what's today? It'll be the 31st. 30th of June. Right. So, and what do we got in the fixtures here? May. Right, okay. So, after that, we've still got a month after the final game of the season against Villarreal. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, we'll see you back. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Book it in. We're going to win. We're not going to win. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below how much, uh, how many goals you think we're going to concede in those three games that we're going to play uh, next time. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.